Hey friends, I'm back with another video. This was a request by one of my viewers, and it's about logging in multiple accounts to EverQuest when you plan on two boxing, three boxing, or however many boxing you want to do. For this example, I'm going to show you how to log in multiple accounts on normal live EverQuest or on Project Lazarus which is an, an emulated server. Both are a little bit different, but more or less the same. And again, this was a request, so if this is something you already know, you feel free to ignore this video and just watch something else. Um, so if you've logged into multiple accounts, um, you click on switch account up here, and it'll have a list of your accounts or just type in your account where it says, you know, uh, username. Then you type in your password. Okay, it's loaded and you hit play. Then you click up on the different accounts. This happens sometimes. You click on to a different account and you type in that account, or again, you just select it from the list, type in the password, and hit enter. And then you can hit play on that account. And if you wanna keep this window open, in case you wanna click, it, click log in with third account or fourth account, you could just switch the account and it will stay open as long as you don't have the account that you just logged in on over there. And this is important. Yes, you must have more than one EverQuest account. You cannot multi-box two different alts on the same account. That is impossible. There's no way. It's I'm pretty sure it's against the EverQuest uh, terms of service or policy or whatever. You can have one character logged in per account, but you are allowed to play multiple characters, provided you're on a normal rule server, like Ferona Vi, Luslin, Strom, Povar, Quelius. You cannot uh, multi-box on servers like Mangler or Vox. You know, any of the green servers, I believe all the green servers will not let you multi-box, especially if you see the word true box. Um, here's one that says boxing, but I don't know if that's meaning you can just play two characters. I don't know if you could play three or four. Um, <clears throat> Vox says standard rule set, so you might be able to box, but don't take my word for it because I don't know. Look it up. Look up the rules for the server you want to play on. Please don't break the EverQuest Terms of Service because if you do, they may ban you. And I'm making sure to say this in the video so you can't come back at me and say, well, you taught me how to two box or three box and it's your fault. No, you got to make sure it's allowed on your server. That's all on you, okay? So don't break the rules. I follow the rules. I never multi-box on any server where it's not allowed. I play on Ferona Vi where it's fine. So then you select your server, which I'm selecting Ferona Vi, or if it's already on your Quick Connect, which it is, Ferona Vi, because it's my favorite server, you could press that. Now let's say you log in, and the last time you played, you were playing just a single character, and you were on full screen mode. And it's very difficult, unless maybe if you're using third party software or multiple computers, to multi box on a single computer when you're in full screen mode. So you want to get into windowed mode. By doing that, you just press Alt and Enter. And boom, you're magically in windowed mode. So you're going to want both characters that you plan on boxing to be in windowed mode and then you just use your cursor to jump 
back and forth between the different instances of EverQuest. And again, you can go back to the login and you can log in more characters if you want. Again, you'll have to have or create a, a new account for each new character that you want to make if you're, if you're going to be making a team or a group that you want to group with. Like if you want to have a warrior, a cleric or whatever. Me, I usually just three box, but I use like each character has a mercenary. So I have a cleric mercenary, a warrior mercenary, and a rogue mercenary. Um, so it's a well-rounded group. And then whatever I play, my characters uh, can be just whatever. Like I could be playing three wizards, but since I'm using mercenaries, I'll have that tank and that cleric and the, that rogue with me. Um, so that's how you log in to play multiple accounts on regular standard EverQuest. And you might want to have full access, so you might need to pay for, you know, multiple accounts. Um, do I pay for multiple accounts? Yes. <laughs> like, it's very expensive. Uh, word of advice, don't ever buy an account for a single month, because that's like, what, 15 bucks. Um, buy it three months at a time where it's discounted it's like 12 something um, if you can buy it for a full year in advance if you really have the time to play then do it buy it a full year in advance that'll be like a hundred something bucks but it ends up being like only what 9.99 or something or 10 bucks a month um, so you save a little bit uh, by doing that but again only if you know you can dedicate the time and you're actually going to be playing so that is live EverQuest. So let's close these windows because we're going to do Project Lazarus and logging into multiple accounts. So for this, I always make a um, folder open. So for Project Lazarus, it's handy to just open up a folder of your desktop because that way you could just click on, you know, open the EXE for Project Lazarus. Hit Accept. It's similar to the regular live. Go to Login. Type in your password and hit Enter. And here's where it gets different. There's not a separate window like with Live EverQuest where you can just go back and log into your next person. That's why I have my desktop folder that I can reopen and I can just go to open another instance of Project Lazarus EXE. And again, hit accept, log in. Make sure you type in your new account name and your password for that account. And then go to Project Lazarus. And this is similar where if you log in, if you log in and you are on full screen mode, all you do is hold alt and press enter to go into windowed mode. You're going to want to use windowed mode so you can flip back and forth between your two characters or three characters um, to play on Project Lazarus. Now, the nice thing about Project Lazarus is you get, you know, all the perks of the server without having to pay anything. Of course, it's nice if you donate to Project Lazarus. I believe they have a way to donate to them. You can always Google that um, to help them keep their servers going and all that stuff because it's all run by volunteers. Um, it's not like an official EverQuest server. but they have, well, f for one, they allow you to multi-box. They allow you to have, I think, up to six characters on at a time um, that you could play a whole group by yourself um, and, and not get in trouble for it. Now, of course, you can't do that on P99. P99 has a very strict no multi-box 
uh, policy, and it's right there in the policy. So don't go over there and get yourself banned and then come crying to me. Again, I'm warning you in advance. Read whatever terms of service or policy a server you want to play on. Re read it. Don't break their rules. Don't get yourself banned. And don't lose your accounts that you put hours, days, months, and maybe years into growing and playing. So I hope this video helps you. And yes, I did dye my beard. Due to COVID, I got lazy and I stopped. But I figured it's been a while and I would try to dye it again. Yes, it came out bad. Yes, it looks splotchy. And yes, the orange streak just looks like a pale yellow. And I'm very disappointed. And yes, I'm trying to channel Andrew Globerman from Big Mouth. And doing a terrible job. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.